right there. Hey, look at that. <laughs> there you are. Good morning, kids. Here we are today, live on the Kong family page. And uh, let's see here. I am doing something wrong. No? Why in the heck isn't it given both of us on the page here? I think I shared the wrong page. Hang on a second. Let's end this live video on the Facebook <laughs> stuff real quick. And let's kill that and let's do it again. I don't think I, I didn't share my screen properly. Share screen, share screen number two, and go live. Share. Uh, there we go. Now we're working the way we're supposed to. Okay. Good morning, kids. Hey, sorry about that. As usual, my brain cell wasn't functioning properly and made a mistake on technical issues. Technical difficulties. <laughs> and yep, Rodgar, yes, it is my technical difficulties. Anyway, good morning. Good morning, kids. We are the Kong family, and it's today we have, a, we have a really special guest who's got an incredible story to tell. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. We've been, you know, it's kind of funny because Paul was supposed to be one of our original, one of our first guests back clear back uh, at the end of last year when we when we started the, the Kong Brothers show up. It was originally the Kong Brothers, me and my brother Wetz, but then decided that it was more appropriate to change it to the Kong family because really that's what we are. We're this big old huge family of incredible people. And um, so, yeah, we're blessed. We are the Kong family. We come here to you daily and we're having a blast doing it because we've got this real simple goal. We just want to change the world up. It was originally the Kong brothers, me and my brother Wetz, but then decided that it was more appropriate to change it to the Kong family. Who needs to be muted? What's going on with that? Anyway, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Good morning, Vanita, Bill, Michelle. Um, anyway, yeah, we are, we're changing the world, kids. That's what's happening. And, uh, and we're doing it one glass and 9.5 at a time, one lightning bolt in a box, one incredible guest, one amazing family at a time. And it's pretty dang exciting watching all this stuff happen. But, uh, you know, today we've got our, what we love to call him is our resident lumberjack. Because this big dude, he spent a bunch of time, he, he spends time craw crawling around through trees like a monkey and uh, chopping those babies down. So... Anyway, hey, Paul, how you doing, buddy? He's coming to us from the state of Washington. What part of Washington are you in, Paul? Good morning, family. I am in the Cedro Woolly, Washington, about 60 miles north of Seattle. Okay, yeah, that's proof, living, breathing proof that they'll let anybody live up there in Washington. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, yeah. So, Paul, hey, let's just go ahead and get on started. I'm sure you've got a busy day, and I know I do. So, I want to ask you to start with, because uh, this is always my, my first question to everybody. I like to know how, when, and why you got involved with Congan Water, and whether you were a skeptic or not, like I was, because I was a big-time skeptic of this, uh, of this water in the beginning. Um, of course, until I actually looked at it, and then my skepticism was gone in a heartbeat. But anyway, what's, uh, what's your story in that regard, buddy? Well, uh, thank you, JJ. It's a blessing to be on here, bro. Um, my life has changed since buying this equipment, and my life is changing more and more every day on a daily basis these last couple months. So after going to San Diego, my life has changed immensely. Um, I got started back in 2013. Uh, Carlos Gonzalez, our friend, 
bought his machine in 2011 and he was showing all of us and and it wasn't something that was fit into my budget and they didn't have the financing and stuff back then so that wasn't a question so it wasn't even an option for me I didn't even think about it and one day I was working and my good friend that I met at a casino in Marysville over a blackjack game uh, because we're both recovering alcoholics uh, I friended him and he has been like a big brother to me for the past 12 or 13 years. Anyhow, he called me one day and said, hey, uh, our buddy's over here and I'm gonna buy one of these Kongan water machines. He said, I believe in this stuff and I think it's gonna really go places. Are you interested in working this business if I buy you a machine? And I said, well, dang, bro, I don't know anything about this stuff. I said, but yeah, that's a, hell of a deal if you want to do that for me so my buddy Scott ended up buying this machine for me and I tried to work the business and just wasn't happening so I just kind of flaked off a little bit a couple more years went by I dug back into it I seen all the success that everybody was having I seen all the health changes that everybody was having I just noticed everything that was going on and last year I said, you know what? I'm not living like this no more. I've lost my mother. I've lost my father. Uh, things it's time to change. So this year I'm on a new route. And like I said, I went to the 45th anniversary convention this year in San Diego for this company and buddy, this stuff is on fire. And so are the people that are involved. Um, I've met some really good people in this business and I'm going to meet a heck of a lot more so to be a skeptic I was not I wasn't skeptic at all I didn't know anything about it but I knew once I started drinking it it started making me feel better and uh, the monster drinks went to the wayside after I seen the first demonstration of this stuff uh, the thing that sold me was the water emulsifying the oil uh, blew my mind and then to see what the sports drinks were doing to me uh, blew my mind. So therefore, I drink nothing but Kongan coffee and Kongan water, period. <laughs> Amen, brother. God, I love hearing that. That's, uh, that's a fantastic thing. It's, uh, you know, that, that's pretty cool that you had a friend that, that was willing to, you know, pick up the tab and just pick you up a machine that, that right there is a huge huge blessing and uh, oh, buddy. You know, that friend of yours are you still friends with him I'm assuming oh of course yes 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 yeah well we yes, need yes. we need to get that rascal on the show here one of these days I want to know I want to beat that cat yeah <laughs> he's a good dude bro you would love him he's a great guy yeah so we're gonna have to work on that you're gonna have to hook me up with him or get a hold of him or something and and let's see if we can get him on here. I bet he's got some some awesome stories to tell, you know. And as every as most people are aware of who who have been around this show for the time, you know, we've been doing it now for about seven months. And uh, you know, people know that my thing is is stories. Um, it was a story that changed my life forever. Um, I was a skeptic. I didn't want anything to do with it. And then I saw that that fateful story from that incredible angel, Brittany Dykes. And that that was uh, that's turned out to be an incredible life changing story. So, because of that, I've I've kind of made a mission of wanting to get stories out there, whether those stories are financial stories or whether those stories are or are health stories. Um, you know, I'm I'm trying to share them because I believe that that you know you never know whose story is going to resonate with who, and whose life is going to be changed by. A particular guest coming in here and telling their story, which is obviously why I like to get people like you on here to hear what you have to say, hear what you went through, hear what your what your journey was. And uh, so, anyway, with that said, um, I'm always curious to to know what uh, what kind of things have you ha seen happen over the last five six years that you've been involved with this thing? Have you had any things that uh, really stood out to you over the years that uh, 
you know, just blessings that you'd, that you'd be interested in sharing. And, and, and by the way, just for everybody, we have to do this. Um, we want to let everybody know that whatever, whatever story Paul's talking about here, he's not talking about the Kongan water, curing anything, healing anything, or anything like that. It's, that's not the case, you guys. It's super important for people to remember that it's this thing right here. This thing, the human body, this is what does the healing. This is what does the curing. This is the only thing that can do that kind of thing. And, you know, reading from, from Bob Wright's book, one of the things he says is he says, I, it's got to be made perfectly clear to you that only you can heal your cancer. Only you. And, the, and it's the same with all disease. Only you can heal it. Doctors can't heal it. Medicines can't heal it. Only your body can heal. It's extremely important that people understand that. What Congan's water is, is it is the greatest tool in the toolbox that the human body, the human machine uses to be its own mechanic. So with that out of the way, what kind of, what kind of great stories do you have to tell, Paul? Well, buddy, uh, back in 2010, well, most of people that know, I'm a professional tree climber. I worked for Asplen Tree for 13 years. I worked in the woods right out of high school. Um, I had my own tree service back in 2010 and I woke up one morning, my back was hurting, my knees were hurting and I just didn't feel like going to work. And I was really into sobriety and recovery at the time. And, you know, I just made a conscious decision to say, screw it. I'm not doing this no more. I physically can't take this no more. So I went to selling cars, um, did real good selling cars. Uh, that got to be quite old after three years. And so I folded that. I got on the Yukon, started drinking this water heavily in 2013, 2014. And in 2015, I was able to go back climbing trees. Well... I climbed trees periodically for the last three and a half, four years. In October of last year, I was rear-ended on 405, and the lady messed me up pretty good, and the turmeric can't even touch the arthritis that's going on in my knee or my shoulder or my back. However, I do not quit taking it. If I didn't have the water and the turmeric, I don't know where I would be, JJ. I would probably be curled up in a ball somewhere in a corner. So uh, being blessed, I am a very blessed individual. And I know that, and I don't take advantage of that. Uh, I live my life with a clean heart. I try to take care of people, and that's my mission today. I want to help people. So... Uh, you know, no miracle stories here. My body actually was starting to heal itself, and it does on a daily basis. If I did not have my water, I do not know how I would feel. It's, it's not a very good thought. Um, where I was and where I'm at today is, is a far cry from where I was at uh, hurting. And, you know, I hurt today, but not like I used to. Um, you know, I don't take any pain meds. I don't take any arthritis meds. I don't take any anti-inflammatories. I don't take any of that stuff. And my doctors are asking me, what do you do? Well, you must be in a lot of pain. Well, yes, I'm in a lot of pain, but I try to fight it off and drink my water and try to eat as much turmeric as I can because that stuff's expensive, but it's also the best in the world. So um, I know all about the expensive and I can't afford it and I can't do this and I can't do that. But after our little friend at the convention told me there are no excuses for nothing, that's the way I live my life today. I don't have any excuses. Yeah, hey amen. That kid that, uh, that uh, has his arms chopped off at the elbow and his legs chopped off at the knees, boy, I'll tell you what, he doesn't have any excuses. People with excuses need to look at him because, uh, wow, what an, what an inspiring story, seeing somebody like that. That was – Amen. Um, and, you know, J.J., every time I tell the story about him and Chris Gardner, the hair on my arm stands up every time I mention it. I mean, it's 
it's pretty powerful stuff. Yeah, Chris Gardner, he's the guy that was in that the movie, right? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pursuit of happiness. Yeah, yeah. With no excuses. That's my new motto. No excuses, baby. Well, you know the cool thing, Paul, is that if you've got a goal and a desire, and you know everybody who gets to listen to this in the days, weeks, months, and years, and who's listening right now. If you truly have a goal and a desire to help other people, I'm telling you right now, there is absolutely nothing in this world that you can do that will help more people in more ways than being part of the Congan Water family. It is truly the most life-changing thing that there is out there. And, you know, it's amazing how much I've come to grips with the fact that this is just such a powerful thing. Um, and every day having the blessings of being able to put this show on and, and get to hear the testimonials of people all over the world, it's, it's absolutely mind boggling to me. And I have to pinch myself every day to realize that it's, this is real. I'm really here, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, let me add this to it too, JJ. I mean, uh, we're talking about change. Um, you know, I think you and I discussed this yesterday before yesterday uh you know i'm a big burly guy and and you know everybody looks at me and thinks i'm just that big mean tough guy and and big bully type guy and what have you and i'm really really not um my father was six foot three 280 pounds and nobody messed with him but he was a gentle giant and he always tried to teach me to be gentle and through the years growing up, you know, it wasn't in the cards for me to be gentle. I tried to be gentle and I couldn't be gentle. I had to fight to protect myself. So, you know, I'm on a mission today. I want to be the leader that I know I'm capable of being. I want to be a leader that people look up to. I want to be a leader that has my life in order and I just want to take care of things, brother. I'm 53 years old and my life needs to change. So I'm on a big rebound and, and I love in agic. I love the people in it. And, um, you know, you and I talked the other day about friends, you know, um, uh, I got more friends in an agic than, um, are here in Cedro Woolley. They actually call me and say, hello, how are you? You know? Uh, so, uh, Enagic is a family, and we continue to do that, and we're going to continue to do that until we can't. So, um, yeah, buddy, I'm uh, I'm really really happy to be on your show. So, um, yeah, my life is changing on a daily basis. And changing for the better. I'm, Amen. I'm sure this, Amen. Uh, that I, I'm not wrong in adding changing for the better, and and yeah, Amen. buddy, I after having you come and visit. You know, it's quite obvious that you are that gentle giant. And, you know, just when you have nothing but love in your heart for people and, and for things, it, it definitely makes it so that when you're, you know, getting involved with something like this, it just expands on that. This company is really expansive for people that, that are truly wanting to help others. And so that's, that's been one of the things that has just blown my mind about this company, how much people are willing to reach out and help each other, even though they're not in the same downlines, you know, as Sean and I would love to say, we're not on the same squad, but we're in the same league. And Amen. You know, this big league of people, we are, we are literally changing lives daily and, and uh, letting, you know, helping each other, helping people, um, you know, accomplish whatever it is they're trying to accomplish. And so, and that's just going to get bigger and bigger as time goes by. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, and so I'm going to move on to my next, uh, I'm just curious, Rob, <laughs> are you in here? Do you got any questions for the old resident lumberjack? Are you there? Yeah. There you go. He is there. coming through loud and clear. Go ahead. Can you hear me? I can hear I you. Can... Something was hearing my computer. So. Technical <laughs> <I'm>... difficulties. <laughs> Only solutions, man. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it's interesting how he has no uh, 
prescription what he's taking, just the turmeric and the water, because I got the uncle too, he has uh, arthritis, and he, I had him on the water for a week and a half, and then he dropped off. Oh, yeah. that's too bad. Yeah, his, his one knee is way bigger than the other one because swollen because infections. So, yeah, mine is too, Rogar. Mine is too. I just battle through it, buddy. You know, some days are better than others. But, you know, that's that's the thing, Paul. It's like I have, you know, I showed you the the uh, X-ray of my knee when yeah. you were here, and that knee, um, every step I take. It hurts, but the one thing that has been just probably the biggest godsend of all with this with this product is the fact that my my barometer. I used to have this barometer in my left knee that yeah. whenever the weather was starting to change, I knew it. I could feel it. My I could literally feel my heartbeat in my knee. Boom, boom, boom. You know, and and it's just really super painful. But now that's not there anymore. Um, now the only time I have the pain is when I'm actually walking or bending it. And, you know, like right now I'm in the middle of doing a tile job. But yeah, it's going to be painful. Um, Man, but, I couldn't but, imagine. You know, not having that throbbing has been, you know, there's a difference between pain that happens when you're doing something versus pain that's sitting there throbbing and killing you when you're doing nothing. When you're just right. sitting there doing nothing and your legs just killing you, you know, and and that kind of stuff sucks. And, it, and I know that Kong and water is the only thing that I changed. And, and it, it's made a tremendous difference for me. Absolutely. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, I know that it'll, it's going to continue to help you as long as you keep drinking it. And, of course, we know you're going to keep drinking it because you're a bad old song, Beach. Uh -huh. and, you know, <laughs> so that's, that's just the way it's going to happen. And so we know that. And we're out here to, to share the magic with the, with the rest of the world. And uh, so now I want to move on to what is, is always my favorite question, because I always get a different answer about this from, from everybody. I would like to know, you've you got somebody out there that is per, possibly on the fence. Maybe they don't even know anything about it, but you only have, you only have one little shot, one little quick thing that you can say to them about this water to potentially, you know, spur their brain cell into wanting to learn. What is it? What do you say? That's a good one. Cause I've been on here and listened to all of them and, and, you know, and I don't know what I would say. All I would say to somebody is change your water, change your life. I mean, that's what I tell people, change your water, change your life. I mean, when I say change your life, I don't mean change your life uh, mysterically. I'm talking about change your life physically, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. Change your life. That's what this company does. Yes. Amen, brother. You know, I love that. And, and the truth is, you know, it's like Sam Tran said here on the show a long time ago. He said, it's, it's not change your water, change your job. <laughs> change right. water change your house change your right. water change your car no. god bless sam tran yeah you know those kinds of things changing your job your your house your car your shoes your, your clothes those things are all fairly life-changing as well can be but literally this water changes lives this company changes lives and as we've been learning on some of these episodes with some of the gracious people that have been coming on here and teaching us some things, it is truly mind boggling how life changing this company is. Amen. We've had some super great guests on this show. Yeah. And I can't wait to get my, like, for example, kids, my buddy, Steely Dan Collins. No, not the musician dude, but he's yeah. just cool. <laughs> he, He's 74 years old. He has had four bypass surgeries on his heart. He's got one lung and one kidney. And he bought himself a Kong and water machine. And in two weeks of drinking the water, he went to his doctor, to the, the veterans hospital, as he's a Vietnam vet. And uh, he, 
he went to his doctor appointment, his normal little visit, and and his blood pressure was 118 over 90. He said, holy crap, Jay, I about shit a brick. I couldn't believe it. I, I can't even remember the last time my blood pressure was that low. 118 over 90, you know, it's like, what a what an exciting number. I just, I about started crying when he told me that because that's the kind of life changing that we're talking about around here. Right. Is, you know, that very kind of thing. These are the kinds of things that happen all the time. If we can just get people to, to uh, jump on the train and realize they're already paying the money. Amen. People are already paying the money for this. They're just not getting the benefits. <laughs> and so that's our job. We want to, we want to help them, help them learn about the benefits and, and putting these shows on, getting this kind of information out there is a, is a big part of that process. And, so, Paul, um, hey, go I ahead. Got some, I got something about the blood pressure. I was already once before I got King and Water on the fence too to get a prescription. He prescribed me a machine to measure it every day. So, ever since I drink the water and, and do more exercise, then it's all normal. All back to normal. Yeah. Oh, and hey, Paul, you know, there's something I need to correct you on just to, just real quick. You said you were 53 years old. I yeah, said, 53 you years old. Hogwash, dude, you're 53 years young, just like Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> I'm 53 years young, baby. That's right. That's right. I love telling people that I had my last time clock punching job when I was 19 years old, and now I'm 53 years young. <laughs> Amen. I'm, I'm one of the lucky people in this world. I'm getting younger every year. Heck with this getting old stuff. I'm Amen. getting younger every year. And uh, Kong's Water is a huge part of that. And people need to understand that youth and, and that is sometimes is just a matter of thought. You know, you if you think, you know, it's like right up here. I tell people all the time, don't grow old up here. You know, this, this here might get older as you go, but this right here can stay young. And you want to keep this young. If this stays young, you're, you're going to be golden. And, and, of course, we know that drinking the most powerful antioxidant on the planet by literally hundreds of thousands of times is, uh, is a great way to keep yourself young, especially up here. But, um, yeah, so, Paul, you know, you know that as – as I've said around here, one of my main goals with this place is to, is to unite people, to get people who resonate with each other to, to be able to hook up, to be able to get in touch with each other, to be able to work together with each other. You know, who knows? There might be other tree climbers out there who are like, wow, there's a tree climber in this thing. Well, I guess I better get involved with him. Amen. They might want to get a hold of that, the resident lumberjack of the Nagic and, and, uh, and get involved with you. So I want to give you an opportunity real quick here to tell people what, uh, you know, how do they get a hold of you and, and uh, you know, what, what, how do they get a hold of Paul Nelson, the, the resident lumberjack? Uh, well, Facebook's the only way to get a hold of me, JJ, until, uh, Probably another three weeks, I'm going to have the EWS website with my own kongantreetopper.com. So I will have that. I just need to get the domain and I need to get set up with EWS. But a friend of mine is going to help me do that because I'm not tech savvy. And, and uh, it's a nightmare when I get involved with technology. So, uh, yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. So it's all good. Uh, Paul Nelson. Uh, Facebook, 425-931-7635. That is my number. And, yeah, that's about all I got, bro. Awesome. Yeah, well, for everybody out there that's going to be watching this as time goes by, you know, if you, if you want to get a hold of Paul, get a hold of him. He's a great guy and has uh, lots of great things to offer and always, a, you know, it's always good having awesome friends that, that care about helping other people. Um, 
And so that's one thing I've learned. Having you here to visit, that was that was a great blessing. Well, and, I sure I sure love spending time with you and your wife and the chickens and bunnies, bro. That was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, those chickens are quite crazy, aren't they? I love those. Oh yeah, that gold one. That's my favorite one, man. Oh happiness. <laughs> yeah. Happiness the bully. <laughs> <laughs> happiness is the bully yeah there you go yeah, yeah you saw how she attacks all the other chickens she yeah that's funny extraordinaire <laughs> so anyways kongan live i am happy to be a kongan water distributor i cannot express it enough this thing has changed my life well i'd like to give you you know one thing i always love to ask everybody before we before we uh, close things out and get moving in our days is, you know, do you have any, any last thing that you would like to add to this, you know, th something that has touched your heart or whatever that, you know, anything, any last thing that you'd like to leave our, our audience with? Well, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I have a friend, a very dear friend right now whose mother was just diagnosed with, uh, a brain tumor and you know and she's had her machine for three and a half years and they don't they don't utilize it and I I'm having troubles getting across to my client that her mother needs this water I bought them the book I've done everything I can and they still want to fight me now they're talking about doing radiation and chemo and it's just upsetting the crap out of me so, yeah, you know, folks, don't do radiation or chemo. Drink Kongan water. Our body will heal itself. It's been proven. There's testimony after testimony after testimony. Our body heals itself. Yeah, amen. You know, just shared out a short video this morning from Dr. Shinya. He's oh, yeah. Who, who developed the colonoscopy. And someone yep. who's in with colon issues to him. He doesn't put them on a bunch of medications. He doesn't nope. suggest radiation or, you know, it's radiation is burning. Uh, chemo is poisoning and surgery is cutting. You know, Bob Wright right. calls them the big three. These are the big three that, that these doctors utilize, but they don't know any better because that's all they've been taught, you know? And so what do you do? If you don't know, you don't know. And well, my client, her big deal was that she told me that this is this cancer is in the blood brain barrier. And I said, this water penetrates the blood brain barrier. It's the only thing in the world that penetrates the blood brain barrier. That's what I've learned in the last couple of years about this water. I have been paying attention, buddy. This water is for real. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, in regards to that, you know, I, just from my past, I, I do know that, that this water is by far and away the most powerful thing that crosses the blood-brain barrier. I do know that there's a, a really powerful antioxidant out there that comes from the grape seed. It also comes from pine bark. It's called proanthocyanidin. Uh -huh. uh, it actually is a small enough molecule to get through the blood-brain barrier as well. But it's, it, you know, even... Even if somebody is eating proanthocyanidins from the grape seed or or from pine bark, they it's what Kangen water does is ex exponentially makes that more powerful, more and and better. And you know I always was taught that that particular thing was the most powerful antioxidant in the world until I ran into Kangen water. And truth is, Kangen water is probably a hundred thousand times more powerful as an antioxidant than than yeah. proanthocyanidin. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. The point is that Kangen water does get across the blood-brain barrier, and it gives just the most incredible amount of antioxidant capability that there is. And, and it's, it's not even close, man. <laughs> I mean, when you, when you start looking at some of the statistics and some of the, the tests and that, I mean, there's nothing that even comes anywhere near close to being as powerful as Kangen water. And right. the reason for that is simply because it's it's loaded with negative, negatively charged um, electrons, and they run around and and 
take care of things, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. Our body is electric. We have an electric machine. This thing runs on 120 millivolts of electricity and hydrogen. And the problem lies in the fact that pretty much everything we eat, everything we drink, everything we do is stealing that electricity and stealing that hydrogen from our bodies rather than providing it. And that's where Kong and water comes in because it's pure electricity and pure hydrogen and pure hydration and right to the cells. You know, like, like your friend that uh, is suffering from the brain tumor, hopefully you can, you know, maybe, maybe you've said this to her, maybe you haven't. But this is something I tell people all the time, and it's absolutely true, 1,000%. That is, that when you drink Kangen water fresh out of the Kangen water machine, it gets to your brain before it gets to your stomach. And people find that to be fascinating and sometimes find it to be absurd. But the truth of the matter is, the way this stuff is absorbed, it's absorbed through your esophagus. It goes immediately into your system and up to your brain. That's why you can actually get a snowball headache from drinking not even that cold of Kangen water. You know, it doesn't even really have to be necessarily all that cold. You drink enough of it fast enough that's, you know, fairly cold. You'll end up going, whoa, a snowball headache. I didn't expect that out of just a, a relatively cold drink. Usually it takes something like very cold where you go and guzzle down enough of it and you get one of them snowball headaches. And with Kong and water, I've actually gotten them with water that wasn't really even very all that cold to start with. And so I thought that was fantastic and amazing. And, and so, yeah, that's, uh, that's something that I'd try to get across to that person. And anybody that has brain issues, I, I always like to let them know that, you know, this water gets to your brain before it gets to your stomach. Right. And, and that's, that's something that I've done. And, you know, for people out there, give people a challenge. I, I have a 32-ounce a Nalgene bottle that, that holds 32 ounces of water. And I have literally taken that and drank all 32 ounces in one long drink. And then I stood up and started swishing my stomach around, and there's nothing in there. You cannot feel it. There's, and you, if you try that with regular water, you drink 32 ounces of regular water, I guarantee you, you drink it all at once. Couldn't do it. Feel that water in your stomach sloshing around. You move your stomach around, and you can feel it literally sloshing around in your stomach. Yeah. Why? It's because it didn't get absorbed. And it went to your stomach instead of your brain. <laughs> Amen. So, yeah, brother, gosh, I sure appreciate you coming in here and sharing your story. I think it's a, it's a powerful story and, you know, a story of people helping each other. It's really, it's really just, I don't know, every day it's mind boggling to me. The people that I meet, the people and the things that they do for each other. It's really fascinating. And, and hearing your hearing how you got involved, I think that's just absolutely incredible. And I'd love to meet that guy someday, and you know, hear what hear what his thought process was behind that. Because my bet is, is he was just like, well, I love the guy, and I want to help him out. <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly what it was, JJ. He called me and he said, "Buddy, I believe in this stuff, and I don't want to leave you behind." So that's exactly what he told me. And, you know, as loyal and as good a person as I am, I owe it to him to do good in this business. I mean, I've had offers of people wanting me to switch over to their team. And I would never, ever do that in the first place. I mean, I bought in under somebody. And so that's where I'm staying. And it's my responsibility to make this work. Um, I didn't like that before. I thought that people should be helping us however it's not that way so Paul is going to figure this out on his own with some help from my loved ones the loved ones help me the others don't so I know where I'm at I know where I stand and I'm good with it buddy Mr. Jeffrey Combs is going to help me get my life in order yeah absolutely buddy you know, that's the thing is we we do help each other, and I, I want everybody to understand something, especially about me. Anybody that's out there listening to this as time goes by, 
if, uh, if you're not getting the support you need from your upline, I'm here. And, and there's many other people in the Kong family who are here. I'm here to help people. I don't care whether they're in my downline or not. I don't give a rat about any of that. I'm here to help people. I've had people, I had a lady who came and got water from me for a couple of weeks, got pissed off at my upline and decided that she was gonna buy a machine from somebody else. I told her, congratulations, if you ever need any help, let me know, I'm here to help. And yeah, uh, I don't care, I'm, my main thing for people is that they get the machine. I mean, heck, my own brother, bought a machine from someone else and I went down and installed it for him. <laughs> right. so, I don't care, man. I'm just well, happy that my people, that, that people get this water and that they get this incredible gift into their life. And that's what it's all about for me. And that's, I know there's a lot of people in the Kong and water family who are exactly like that. And I got to, I've, I've been scrolling through the online stuff and John Stevens says, uh, he says, just look at our founder, Mr. O, and see how Kong and Water helps with prevention. So glad we were introduced to Enagic back in 2007 after a cab driver dropped us off at the wrong address in downtown Toronto. Ha! Classic, John. Isn't that crazy how the good Lord works? <laughs> he dropped you off at the wrong place and it changed your life forever. John, we got to get you on the show, buddy. I need to get reached out to you, and we need to get you on the show so you can tell your story. I want to hear that one. And uh, so, yeah, let's get together on that one, buddy, buddy, and uh, and get you out here, get you recorded, get you up on the Kong family page, and so that uh, your story can help change other people's lives. Because that's what this is all about, kids. For me, it's all about sharing stories, um, sharing truth, sharing love. And in, in doing that, we're going to change the world. It's happening. And uh, it's so cool being part of such a, a life-changing and world-changing company and event and, and all that kind of stuff. And people like Paul coming in here, um, you know, jumping out of their comfort zone and, and being willing to share, share their magic, as I call it, you know, because we all have magic in us. We just have to be willing to put it out there and let it, let it, let it live, let it grow, let it flow. And, you know, this is a great place for people to be able to do that. And we sure appreciate it. We're so blessed to have people like you in here, Paul, that, that are willing to come and share the magic with us. And so, you know, I, I look forward to, to seeing you and continuing to work with you. And, you know, just like, just like Sean and I, you know, you and I, Rod Dar and I, we're not on the same squad, but we're in the same league and we're here to help each other. We're always here to work together and teach each other the little tricks of the trade and the things that we learn so that we can help other people because we are the Kong family. We are changing the world. It's happening one glass of hydrogen rich, oxygen saturated, incredibly hydrating Kong and 9.5 at a time, one lightning bolt in a box, one incredible guest, one awesome family at a time. And well, I know I've taken to you like freaking Velcro, bro. So uh, since I met you, I'm really happy you came into my life, dude. You and Mr. Six Foot Eight Mongrel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's five foot 20. Yes, five foot twenty mongrel. <laughs> yeah, the the praying manis, man, the six foot praying manis. Yeah, we love that cat, and uh, yeah, he's all of our con brother. And, yeah, buddy. And so, yeah, you guys, thank you so much once again. Get out there, change the world, starting with your own, and of course, as usual. Do not forget your hugs, kids. Forget your hugs and your hoodies. Where's Tina? She is off to work. She decided oh, to give me a kiss and a hug before the show so that she didn't have to interrupt. Oh, God bless her. Yeah, she always gives me a big kiss and a hug before she leaves for work. And, right on. Uh, yeah, as you, as you found out, she's quite the angel. Oh. Okay, brother, make it a good day. It's raining here. 
Yeah, go on, run in the rain, brother. Get her done. <laughs> Love Thanks, Rog. Make it a great day. Nice to meet you. Take care, You Ken. too. Much love. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>